this is Spugmaster Bob from MadRealms.net. I was just wanting to make a quick video of my obsidian tower that I made in the town of Aperture. Um, just to record what things look like, just in case they reset the server down the road. Um, so what you just saw was the up far away shot, and this is kind of a close up shot of the tower. Uh, now we're going to go in and actually uh, explore a little bit of what I made. I got some wheat farms below, and let's go ahead and head on in. So entryway is kind of basic, but uh, once we get through there and then into some of the uh, more in-depth areas of the tower, uh, you'll see some of the cool things I was able to add into it. Um, the tower has a minecart path laced within the walls, um, so it's kind of a quick way to go up and down the tower. Uh, I won't show you all of that until the end, but you know it's just a single minecart path sandwiched in between two obsidian walls going up and down the tower. So from here. We'll start to go up the tower. Um, first section is just storage and uh, kind of a workshop area that I uh, built just as a working space. Uh, I did come up with some uh, designs for a new type of window. Uh, this one will alternate between just having a clear and a blue look uh, from the outside of the tower. It has a nice, nice look to it. Uh, plus, it's kind of cool just you know seeing the water come back and forth on it. Uh, from there. I'm coming up into more of the storage area, uh, chanting room, and then heading up to my living quarters. So this is the area where I set my living space, uh, some pictures and stuff. Uh, to the right, we've got a toilet. Uh, it's got a cool design found on a furniture website online. Uh, actually, push the button and the lid goes up and down. Kind of cool. Um, come into the living space. Got a little TV room here, the couch, TV. Uh, a couple guys fighting there, and then coming into the bedroom ceiling fan, my own design, uh, some other furniture, um, and then from there we start to get into some of the more cool areas of the tower. Um, every single, every so often there's going to be a minecart uh, transportation level, that's what this is. It's a location for the minecarts to enter back into the tower, let people out, see some of the different uh, levels that are here. Uh, the first level up this way. This is actually a parkour puzzle that I created. Uh, a couple of more of those switchable windows with some view of the town. Um, this is actually my favorite area. It actually goes up in with the uh, level 128 where the clouds come through. So as you're jumping up the puzzle, uh, you actually have some clouds that you go through. That's a nice effect. Um, probably my favorite room so far in the tower. So on the way up there, through a couple of clouds. Uh, the next room that we're going to be uh, coming to is just another one of the minecart um, paths, just in case someone wants to bypass the, the jumping puzzle. From here, we'll actually go up into a uh, art gallery that I came up with. Um, so it's got a lot of wood walls, uh, places for the paintings to hang, and in the middle it's got this nice tree kind of sitting there. So kind of a, a cool little room just to kind of hang in, walk around, see some of the different paintings that they have for Minecraft. Um, another one of the uh, minecart levels. So this next section is probably the took the longest to make. This is actually a three-dimensional maze, aperture style for those that have played Portal. Uh, the maze kind of reconfigures itself as you go through it. Um, different uh, paths based on the colors. So here we'll open up the uh, first path, our orange path, and kind of walk through it. Uh, I won't go through the entire maze just because I don't want to you know, take a little bit of time to go through. Um, I'll just kind of show you the first little path here and then the uh, observation decks that it leads to and then we'll kind of continue on. coming to the end of the first path. Um, this is where it exits out onto kind of an observation balcony area. Uh, the little pressure plates will reconfigure the maze. And you can see, you know, kind of looking down some of the other areas around town, uh, things that people have come up with. So first observation deck, pressure plates, and then now uh, we'll be moving through the green path. So all of the doors that are marked green will now be open and allow people to go through. So anyways, we'll go ahead and fast forward this a little bit and uh, kind of show you the next um, area after the maze is finished. So we'll be back. 
in just a moment. All right, well, welcome back. Uh, this is at the end of the maze, uh, going through the exit, blue path, uh, heading up into the uh, kind of the dish that's at, that you saw at the top of the biodome, or the base of the biodome. Uh, I'm going to break through the wall here a little bit just so you can see some of the guts that went into creating that maze, some of the redstone logic. Uh, it's fairly complicated, kind of looks like a big mess, but uh, it all works, trust me. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy how much redstone that took. Um, then coming out of there, you know, around the uh, base of the biodome, underneath the dirt and stuff, you know, I've got all these sheep pens, uh, one for each of the 16 colors. Uh, kind of gives a nice resource for, you know, getting some good color designs. You can see, kind of see the colors on the exits there, leading to each one. So this is the, actually the biodome itself. Um, kind of added a lot of trees, a lot of gardens, a lot of nice landscaping area. I uh, have this area here with a nice waterfall, with a river that goes down into a pond. Got some nice little boats there. They'll float around if people want to go into it. A uh, big lava type tower in the middle with my obsidian um, gate to the nether. From here, got a little garden that I put together at the end, a statue that I uh, dedicated that to my wife and I for all the hard work I put into this thing. Um, time I spent there. Uh, this was an improved design of a watermelon tower. Puts down around you know, one to two stacks of watermelon slices per push of the button. And next. This is a hedge maze that's leading up into one of the other parkour uh, puzzle, jumping puzzles. Kind of navigate through here really quick. And this will lead to the uh, base of the big tree that you saw with the glowstone hanging down. furniture in here yet, but uh, kind of nice view from up there. And from here we start on the parkour puzzle for the biodome. So first we start from the trees, using the melon tower, uh, doing a few jumps. This jumping puzzle is a little more dangerous, it's a little bit easier to fall off, get hurt, uh, have certain death from certain heights, um, but uh, kind of jumping up it and I'll kind of go back here. The main reason I wanted to show you guys this was to show from looking below, you know, some of the more of the landscaping from a, a greater height. Also just to kind of show more aspects of the uh, tower design up here. So jumping from trees to trees, I ended up actually taking some jungle trees, planting four next to each other, created the really big uh, jungle trees. Kind of a nice touch for the biodome in here. You can see more of the gardens below. But yeah, so far Mad Realms has been a really great server to be on. There's a lot of talented builders here. Uh, a lot of good towns have been springing up. Uh, Aperture, uh, definitely one of the better towns in my opinion. Uh, have some really good guys, really know how to do a lot with trees, landscaping. Kind of giving me a lot of inspiration for some of the things I've done here. Currently running on the 1.3 uh, distribution. Uh, they're supposed to be upgrading to the 1.4 sometime this next month. Uh, talks about a possible uh, map reset just since the server's been around for a while. Uh, if so, it'll be fun. Get a, get a chance to check out some new things. And here we go. Uh, we're at the top of the uh, jumping puzzle. We are now king of the tower. Looking up, just have a little gold spire. And now you can see kind of the glass around. So I'm go ahead and fast forward to the minecart section. Wanted to show you that before finishing up the video here. So now we're just hopping into the minecart. Gonna kind of push it in a little ways, hop in, and then take a first spin back down the tower. So anyways, it's been uh, great uh, putting this video together, you know, kind of remember the things I've built just in case they map reset, but also kind of show you guys some of the things that are going on on uh, madrealms.net uh, with the Aperture Town. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, hope to see some of you guys in game. Uh, laters. Bye.